Hello Arunjami. Welcome to the pre-match analysis presented by Ainara's Creations for our 10th game against Rajasthan Royals in this year's Dream 11 IPL. Well, the tournament has not gone away and we are at number 7th position and we are battling for life in this Bivu in this Dream 11 IPL, which is a very rare sight for a Sunrise Hyderabad fan. and for sunrise hyderabad to see the team in the bottom half of the table it's been tough the performances have been coming but they are not up to the mark and as a result the points table reflects a performance so tomorrow is an important game uh, against the royals obviously when the last time in the reverse fixture when uh, royals has met us they have won quite well and they chased a very good score of 160 with the help of Rian Parag and uh, Rahul Tevatia and after that a few incidents which were not good to discuss here happened so it's a very important game for us keeping in mind the stuff on the field and stuff off the field so it's time that we can give some biryani to Rajasthan Royals the time has come so for doing that we need to up the game and uh, i think the strategies are clear pretty much i think in our last game we did well with the team was perfect but somehow we couldn't get over the line we tried hard but somehow we couldn't get over the line so what needs to be done to you know just brush aside all the past and just go in with fresh energy i think we can take a cue from kings 11 punjab how they have came back from in the tournament after losing six in the first seven games they have won three consecutively and that two defeating the top three teams in the league so i think we can do something like that which is just play fearless attitude play fearlessly play a natural game i think david warner and johnny bairstow is once again the key at the top i know williamson opened last time because he was not well so he opened so i don't see williamson going back to the top again and coming to kane williamson i think he's fit i think he's we saw a few videos of him having a good hit at the net so he'll bat he'll be back at number 4 and number 3 manish i think manish pandey has to be, have a have a good match have to have a good match it's been time it's been 3 years and manish pandey has to deliver this time and when the going gets tough the toughest survives so as that saying is there i'm sure that we will rise up tomorrow and coming to our batting issues what are our issues in the batting so in the power play what happens generally is Let's go to the old template. When Johnny Bairstow and David Warner were playing, they used to get off their super start, and they used to continue up till 10, 12 overs. So what happened then was our middle order did not get enough chances. But now the situation is different. Our top order has not been consistent, and as a result, our middle order has been exposed and got games. And in few games, middle order has played well, and few games we have failed miserably. So it is. a blessing in this guys as far as i am concerned because middle order has got the chance to bat so that they are all match fit so that is one positive which we can take from this but look where our strength lies on the top order we only win if our top order delivers otherwise we will not win this is clear because we are stacking up with overseas batsmen like johnny besto and um, david warner at the top and kane williamson in the middle order and losing mohammad nabi so it is important that these three people capitalize you know take the team forward so because we are missing out on mohammad nabi who should not be missed in this kind of a uh, tracks but unfortunately due to our team combination we are missing him so what so we need to maximize this player players have to put their hands up i know players which un, it's not uh, right to blame david warner or jarim bairstow because they have been trying they have it happens sometimes you don't get going but the possibility of now qualifying is very thin so i think it's time that the both need to fire you know as a unit and the team need to perform as a unit i think the bowling is good uh, comparatively i think khalil ahmed will be back i don't know maybe because of injury or something he was rested i am sure khalil ahmed would be back in place of tumpy and a bowling unit is okay it's decent not super but it's decent and the big positive in the bowling unit is vijay shankar as a four fifth bowler he bowled excellent is bowled exceptionally well against the night riders and i'm sure he's going to deliver this time and with abdul samad as a sixth bowler i think we are very much set i think we have all the ammunition in our bag what we need to do is just go into the field and use the right card at the right time and use it effectively and 
that is one thing which we have to do it and yep with that thank you and please stay tuned to sunrise army and before you leave please check out inr's creations they have amazing gifts which you could give to your loved ones cheers thank you